Hello, I'm going to show you how to connect this to this and we're starting right now. So, we're going to use a library. So we'll need to include that. We're going to do the spotter coding first. And then we're going to have a look at the actual display itself. And then we're going to show it being wired up. And then we're going to run some code on it. Okay. So we need to, this library here, we need to actually add that. So we're going to go tools, manage libraries. And we're going to search for SEV, SEG. Or seven segment, it's a little library. I'm going to install that. Once that's installed, we can close that. I'm going to grab a couple of variables. These are going to be used for, we're going to turn a trim pot, as we turn the trim pot, then we're going to display the number that's shown on the seven segment display. This is the reference to the seven segment object. We can now go into the setup part. So we need to configure the use of the library. And we do that by saying how many digits it's going to have. This is quite a versatile library actually. I think you can have up to eight, eight um, digits. We're only using one. And this array here is used to allocate the digit pins. So that would be the common cathode pins or the common anode pins or the actual digit itself. Now I haven't filled anything in there, you'll notice. We're going to come back to that as we're wiring things up. And again, exactly the same with this. We're going to populate that with the segment pins as we wire it up to the Arduino. This uh, setting here, resistors on segments, that's actually used if you want to. You can either have the resistors in line with the segments. So one resistor per, um, per segment. Or you can have a common resistor on the camp, common anode or common cathode pin. That's configured all of those. So now we're going to link the code up to the library. Again, there is documentation for this library. I tell the library that we're using a common anode display. There's only one digit that we're using. Which digit pins we're using. Which 
segment pins we're using. And how we've connected it up with the resistors. And we're going to finally set the brightness. Um, Brightness is an interesting one. It's actually the delay before it switches to the next segment. So it's not quite brightness. The, the, I think you can have a value of um, minus 100, plus 100. I found it makes little difference other than if you have a high value in there. Um, it takes quite a long time to get round. And back to the original segment again. So I think that's all the code we need there into the loop. So again, what we need to do now, we need to read the analog value into a variable. Which we've got as input value. Analog read. I'm going to connect that up to analog pin A0. And we need to map that value, which has got a range of 0 to 1023. We're going to map that to 0 to 9. And then we need to display that. Finally, the set number basically displays the number on the display, but it doesn't get shown until we call refresh display. So I think that sums up the code pretty much. Let's see if that compiles. And let's see. It's looking good. Okay. The next step for us to now is to talk about the display, which we're going to do. And we're going to have a look at how it's configured. And then we're going to make the connection. So here we can see this is the display that we've got here. Line that up like that. This is the seven segment display, and each segment has a letter attached to it. So this is A, and then as we go around clockwise, we've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and the decimal point there. For this particular display, this maps to these pins here. So pin one which is on this bottom left hand side maps to segment E which is here D here uh, CA is common anode so this display is a common anode you can also have common cathode we're using we're using common anode so I think the next step now that we know how this is all configured what we're going to do move that out of the way we're going to look at wiring this up now so i'm going to pop this onto the breadboard like so we need some current limit resistors we, we can wire these where there's a current limit resistor on every segment but for ease of showing you i'm going to wire this up so there's a resistor on the common anode That's my two resistors. That one in there. And then I just need these small jumper wires. 
quite in the right one. Let's move that over. Yeah. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these wires in. Once they're in, I'm then going to wire them up to the Arduino. Once they're wired up to the Arduino, we'll then allocate the segments into that array. And then we'll download the code. And all being well, it'll work. Not many more to do now. I'll make it easier to see. Join that up to there. Okay, let's connect this up to the Arduino. So I'm going to start from pin zero, work my way along. So what I need to do, I want it to, I can connect this like this. So zero, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and we've got the common here, which we'll pop in there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a common. Pop that in. So I'm just going to refer now to our little diagram. So we can get this all on the screen at once. And essentially, if we follow this through here. So pin one is E. Uh, in fact, actually, I'm going to go from A makes more sense to go from A. So A is up here. It's the second one in, which is this green wire. And that goes to pin 0, 1, 2. So what I'm going to do, back onto the screen, I'm going to go into this segment pin section here. And A, so we're going to build this array up, going A, B, C, D, E, F, G, decimal point. I'm going to start here. So A, we went through to 0, 1, 2. So I'm going to put 2 in there. And then we need to go B, which was next to it, which was 0, 1, 2, 3. C, down here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, D, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. E, next, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I've got up to E, and then F, 0, 1, G, 0. Decimal point, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the digit pen went to number eight. So that looks like it's the code complete. Let's compile that. Back to um, back to the desk camera. Just going to add 
a little bit here. We're not quite complete yet. So what we need is a trim pot. We're going to wire that into analog zero. Let's take analog zero. Connect our USB lead in. Right. Download that code. The moment of truth. All being well. So we get the range from 0 to 9, which is our total range that we were looking for. If you like this video, please do give it a like. If it's the first time you've seen me, then please, if this is the sort of content that you're looking for, hit that subscribe button. Tick the notification bell. If there's anything that you want to see in a tutorial, please let me know. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you very much.